Hi everybody, it's Rob and we're busy with the how to make money online with a dog type of a website um, and we're on to video number three which if I'm correct talks about how you get your traffic um, eyeballs. You need traffic of some sort um, coming to your website for any of the things to make money. Now um, when I say traffic that is people that have gone online, found a thing to click on, that doesn't matter whether it's on social media, on Pinterest, on Facebook, on Instagram, whether they found you on Reddit or on, on LinkedIn and, and they thought, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. And off they go, they appear on your website, they read what's there and they take some form of action that a, a percentage of people take that form of action that then earns you money, right? And so now this is everything. You could have the perfect website and if you're traffic doesn't exist well neither does your income okay and so it's all very well to brag oh i've got the most amazing website on uh, you know life on mars mm. but if people aren't interested or looking up how to you know live on mars then you're never going to make money okay so the point of all of this is you're not doing a free blog you're doing this to make money online with a dog website okay so First up, there's three kinds of traffic. There's organic, which is two kinds, and that's Google traffic and social media traffic. And I guess word of mouth, but that's kind of social media, I suppose. And then there's paid advertising, which uh, there's a huge argument for it being the perfect way. Because paid traffic is where your website's built to where it's just perfect. It looks good. Um, you've tweaked it and fiddled with it until when somebody comes, they want to take action on whatever action you want them to take action on. In other words, book and their dog for a doggy parlor um, haircut and wash, or whether it's to um, purchase a dog mug that says mommy, dog mommy lives here. It doesn't matter. That's the action you want them to take. So paid ads You'd pay the ad, you'd run them, and when you on holiday, you, well, you can even pay for ads and run ads while you're on holiday. Or when you've got too much business, let's say you physically manufacture a dog jersey, a dog jacket, a winter jacket for dogs, and you've got too many orders. You stop running your ads, and you produce the next 30 or 40 or 50 jackets, and then you, you, you think, whew, and you take a day off while you run new ads, and the next day the orders are coming in again, and bingo, away we go. And there can be ads on Etsy, there can be ads on eBay, there can be ads on Amazon, there can be ads um, on Google, on YouTube, there can be Pinterest ads, Facebook ads, they all work. Okay. So let's go into the all about your time versus money. Because if you've got money, paid ads is probably the best way to go straight away and not necessarily need to keep producing organic traffic however if you've got enough money then pay another person so let's say for pick any number out my head be very careful people on this guesstimate i've just done but say for two three thousand dollars a month you can afford to employ um somebody to to literally work full-time um yes yeah, so i'm saying that because you can sometimes do it for a tenth of that and then you're abusing humankind uh, and you can pay double that and then you're getting abused. So, But let's just say you, you basically employ somebody full-time and they are doing the donkey work. They are researching keywords. This is the daily work that we're talking about. So now your website's built and the daily work is happening. And that daily work involves researching what keywords are necessary for, for attracting traffic and then writing content or pages related to those keywords and putting it on the website with an image, sharing that on social media, and then doing it again and again and again. And that way, over a period of time, if you've done it correctly, and, and I'll show you how, you will get to a point where your website is now earning without you needing to run paid ads. Now it's literally earning five, ten, fifty, twenty thousand dollars a month because you are the biggest website on groomsmen's gifts. Oh sorry, dogs. On on um, Boston Terrier gifts, um, pugs, it doesn't matter, okay? Sorry, my favorite dog, Boston Terriers. Okay, so I've done good. I'm on video number something, three, before I've spoken about my dogs. <laughs> okay, so time versus money is your choice. If you've got no money, you're going to have to do it the, the hard way, and it's, it's, it's even sometimes a better way because, A, you learn how the machinery works, 
Um, I've got a course you can go off and do the training um, you, you can get most of it for free you'll see in the how to make it happen section I'll explain it so it's not impossible to do it very very cheaply just use up your time right now for organic traffic this is what I've just said you've got that initial setup period where it will it doesn't matter if I did it um, and it's all I did I could set up an entire website first 30 pages inside of a week okay um, allowing that you would be a beginner and you're going to have to watch videos on how to do everything. So let's just say an entire setup inside of a month. Um, and that's fine. And then after that, you're literally creating daily content. And if you get it right, after anywhere from two to six months to a year, your income will start pouring in. I'm going to close that, that I stop looking at it. Finally, social media. Um, you could kind of do a shortcut up here where I spoke about the, the systems of type of, you could set up a website that's got um, 5 or 10 or 15 products. Let's say in my case, a mommy blogging, Pinterest course, um, a, a blogging course, a shortcut course to um, print on demand, um, how to do keywords. So let's say I've got 10 courses. Now, they don't even need to be my courses. You could put up, uh, there we go. So here, but here's an idea. This is not dogs, by the way. Sorry. You could go and put up a 10 page website and on one of your pages, you will constantly talk about a Pinterest course. And what you do is you'd become an affiliate of mine. So you would then send people to my machine. And if they buy through me, um, you will have decided by then if I, if you think I do know what I'm talking about or not. And then you get 30% of the monthly income that they pay me to belong to my system. So if you send me um, 300 people over a period of time and, and they're all within my machine still, well, let's just do 10. If you send me 10 people, that's $35, that's $350, you'd make about $100 a month. So that's with 10. So if you sent me 100, you'd be making $3,000 a month. And you just got to make sure that you keep sending me enough people that there's 100 in my machine. And you will have a full-time income by just running Pinterest ads or Instagram or whatever. Or not even ads, just pins to where you're sending them to what I offer. Like this dog website course that will be free. Because in theory, uh, quite a few people go through all of this and will then know they need to do it properly and want to do it properly and join up. So, uh, yeah, social media works as far as bringing in traffic and I am actively pushing my social media pretty hard. Uh, I've done a detailed Pinterest course. I'm supposed to be doing 10 pins a day and I'm not. That's a little embarrassing. Um, so, yeah, my next method is paid pins. <laughs> let's see what happens there but yeah I, that, my, my Pinterest will get built up substantially over time I'm just not doing it at the speed I wish I could okay eight minutes is enough done with traffic let's go down to the next one which is what are the potential costs I'll catch you in that video cheers